aka The Connector, with another edition of The Connector Live TV. We're here in the lion's den with John Mosley. And John Mosley is a visionary, an entrepreneur, and he's the founder of Visions Spectrum Systems Technology. John, welcome. Welcome Thank to you. the program. So John, so John, tell me, tell me, um, in the state of black Philadelphia, this segment, we're talking about the issues and challenges that are going on in Philadelphia. So in your opinion, John, what is the most serious problem that's facing black Philadelphia? I found that when the eminent domain started and later gentrification. From, from my research and talking to other psychologists, I was an emergency medical technician. The bottom line was the demoralization that I believe that this resulted in, the gentrification and the eminent domain. Because you have different uh, cultures coming into the neighborhood, people were losing their homes for, for the gentrification and the definition of that. And then you have the different ethnicities in the school system had changed also, the curriculum had changed. And it seemed like a lot of the children had lost their uh, desire to, to learn about their selves, their ethnicity. And some of the curriculum in the school had been altered. The textbooks weren't really uh, consistent with what they needed to get into a job. Mm -hmm. uh, even though some of the schools had vocations. So you're talking about education. I know that the education in Philadelphia, we know that in Philadelphia, um, at least 50% of the minority population um, will not graduate. I think uh, African Americans and Latino American students um, in high school have a 50% chance of whether or not they graduate or not. So the educational education here in Philadelphia has always been a challenge. And that's been going on for the last 20 years. Yes, and, and, and the parenting has started going down. The terminology lacks. Last kids, kids, where you had Last kids, kids. Right. Yeah. They had their kids, and some of the children that I work with, drill, team, drill teams and other youth programs that I work with, so the volunteer in some of the high schools, West Philadelphia High School, I found that because of the drug steps started coming out, probably painkillers and things, that caused birth defects. And into the public schools, those children had behavior problems that disrupted the schools, disrupted the classrooms, and the school disciplinary system had a problem adjusting that uh, okay. with those children. Okay, but before we get into the educational system, okay. let's go back to this gentrification piece. Okay. Right. I wanna I want I want you to expand more on that. Right, because I mean when we talk about gentrification, we're talking about that the existing, the native indigenous people within our communities right. are now being pushed out this because there's a new culture that's coming into our communities. And you think that's the adverse, where some people say, well, the property values are going up and, and the building, there's a lot of new buildings, a lot of the, the, the slums right. and, the, and where these people are moving in, there's better policing. The, um, the, um, the neighborhoods are cleaner. Right. Right? And apparently they're safer because they're able to come in these neighborhoods and walk around around midnight and, and, and you see them everywhere. So right. what do you have to say to that? Well, the eminent domain was... This is John Mosley. I'm here in the lion's den with Michael Rice. 